Hey guys, this is what you're looking at today. We got the review on the Godfather GTAC vest. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay guys, if you're interested in getting this vest, it will be available on Godfather Airsoft and Tactical for $69.99. I will have a link in the description below. You might be thinking, well, $69.99 just for a vest? That sounds a little bit high, but let's go over with exactly what will come with it. It won't come with what you see here, as this is what I use the vest as a setup for. But, when you do buy the vest, on the left side down here, on the molly, on my left side, you're right. This will be where a ambidextrous pistol holster would be with a pistol mag pouch. On the right side, you'd get a double M4 mag pouch. As you see, I have the double uh, mag pouch right here to kind of to show you that. And then on top, you would also get a Condor admin pouch where it has the Velcro on the top, which will also come with a Godfather patch. And then the flashlight holder on the side, which can easily be used to hold your pistol mags. As you see here, I kind of got my pistol mag pouch to show you that. Okay guys, starting with the review here, I would classify this as more of a chest rig than, you know, calling it a plate carrier. Because one, this can be a plate carrier. You got rooms to put your sappy plates or your foam plates or whatever you decide to put in here. But I would use it as more as a rig personally. As you see, you have a lot of molly room on the front. I got two M4 mag pouches here, two AK mag pouches here, and then I also have this big utility mag pouch in the front. On the left side, I'm just holding standard M4 high caps. On the right, the standard AK mags. And then in the middle, I have this big AK drum magazine right here. So, idealistically, if you were to want to be someone who had nothing but M4 or AK mag pouches, you should comfortably be able to hold seven magazine pouches on the front. And if they're all double, you can hold up to 14 mags easily on this vest. And you know, it will be quite heavy if you got 14 mags on you, but you know, you, your weight of the vest is what you decide and how much you put into it. Okay now, so going on to the top panel here, it's pretty much, it's smaller than you would see on like an MPS vest or your standard plate carriers, but it's enough room to put, you know, just an admin pouch or two smaller pouches as you see here. And then another reason why I'd like to classify this more as a chest rig, as there's no molly room on the back as you see right here. But a good thing about that, if you're someone that has a hydration carrier, more of like a jogger style, which is not molly mounted, something that you can take off really easy for the shorter games to take down some of the weight, you got more than enough room in the back to mount that right on, and the straps can just come right through under the vest, and then it makes everything feel nice, snug, and secure. Okay guys, one feature I really like about this RRV style vest, and sorry if that's just what Pantech calls it, but you know this is called the GTAC vest, so I'm trying to give you all a comparison to what it's very similar to. Um, it's, it's convertible in a way, because you got these two buttons, you unsnap, you pull these pieces through the loops, and it's a whole lot easier to do it when the vest is off, but you can fold that right under, that way if you're someone that just likes the bare essentials, you can have more of a just a chest rig type setup here, as you can see. And when you have it set up like this, you still have the secret compartment right here that you can open up. And it's very deep, as you see. And just for now, I got things like anti fog wipes and CO2 canisters in there, just in case, you know, for my pistol or for, you know. If I ever got to clean my goggles off in field, I got the secret compartment to keep it out of the way that I can easily get to to, you know, change that stuff out. Folding this back up, it's easy to do while it's on you. All you got to do is have one hand on the loop, put the button right back in, one hand on the loop, put the button right back through, and you're ready to go. So it's really a change if you decide you can also do in the field. Another secret compartment, as you just saw on the bottom, is right here. You got two tabs, you pull them open, and I just have my dead rag in here. That way if I get hit, I can easily pull it out without getting beamed by hundreds of other BBs if I can help the situation. Okay guys, taking off the GTAC vest is quite an easy task too. Say you're in the field or you just got the staging area, it's really hot, you just want to get this thing off. You know, matter of taking off the one side clip, 
lifting off right over your head, it's right off your body. And um, one thing I really like that this vest took from the RV design is the cross straps. It's just, it's absolutely amazing. It's similar to other vests I've seen before, but I've never had a vest with, you know, the cushion straps being this big. And it makes it, you know, the vest really comfortable. It doesn't dig into your neck at all. And that's really nice to see. And all the buckles up here aren't small. They're nice heavy duty buckles. I know they're going to last me. And everything up here is adjustable from the sides to the waist. But then there's also a second buckle down here if you're a left handed and you prefer to take off the right buckle instead of the left. Okay, moving on to the back here, we got where we can put our sappy plate or a fake foam plate to make it more of a plate carrier type setup if you choose to do so. Because some people might say, yeah, it's just the materials, so if you want it to feel a little bit more hefty, like some people like their vest, you know, you got room right here to put your plate. And I'd say it's roughly, you know, room for a 6x6 six six plate. Then after you put that in, you can just tighten your strap to whichever way you like it to be adjusted to. And there you go. And one other feature I find really cool about this vest, I don't know if it was intentional or just something I see on it, but after you have these buckles off, if you fold this down, say for transportation purposes, these buttons just happen to line up. And I guess that would make it a whole lot easier for, you know, <laughs> transportation and whatnot. So I find that to be pretty cool. I've never had a vest that kind of buckled itself or buttoned itself down to a smaller size. So, you know, it's pretty cool. As, as I said, that's just something I, I saw with the, the, the buttons themselves. So anyone, out there, anyone else out there with an RV vest or something similar to that, let me know. And uh, tell me what all these buttons are really for. Okay, guys. So in conclusion, this Godfather G-Tac vest for $69.99, you're really getting all your money's worth. You know, on top of getting this excellent Molly rig here, the piece that can fold down from the top, you can put plates in there. On top of all of that, you got all the extra Molly space right here to hold up the seven different mag pouches or whatever type of configuration you want. They're also throwing in an ambidextrous holster, Condor admin pouch, and a double M4 mag pouch to have you a complete ready vest if it is your first buy as far as tactical gear. So you know you'll be ready to go out there and play and have all your mags, your sidearm, and everything ready to go. Okay, guys, as I said, this video has been brought to you by Godfather. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If y'all, you know, if y'all are interested in this vest, link will be down in the description below. Until next time, play hard, play safe, and stay true to the game. Okay, guys, this has been What You Looking At Production. I'm out.